The Central Valley has been designated a medically underserved area, meaning there aren't enough doctors and other health care professionals to take care of all of the people. A solution? Establish a medical school here and get more local students to stay and practice in the Valley. In tonight's Education Matters, Juanita Stevenson joins us with why this is no longer a dream. Well, the Valley may well be on its way to addressing one of its biggest needs this fall. The area's only pharmacy school open, and those behind the project say that it is only the beginning. There are those who said it couldn't be done. But a group of people, led by Fresno developer Granville Holmes, planned it and did it. Health Sciences University opened its pharmacy school this fall with 73 students. One of them is UCLA graduate and Fresno native Haley Madsen. The plan was always to come back to the Valley no matter where I went to school. The fact that a pharmacy school was established here in the Valley was an exciting development. It means that I get to stay in the Valley and practice here and it means that I don't have to move outside of like where I've been born and raised. That is exactly why the Health Sciences University was built. The Valley's chronic shortage of medical and health care professionals is well documented. So I think this is meeting a critical need for Central California in terms of educating and training students who will once they complete their training will want to stay here and practice. 47 percent of those admitted to this first class are from the Valley and the college is establishing articulation agreements with Fresno State, Fresno Pacific and Clovis Community College that will give local students a clear pathway to the university. We have seats that are reserved for them as long as they continue to do well at the undergraduate level, they'll be automatically admitted into our program. It is a very unique and first-class program. You first notice the difference in the classrooms. The pharmacy school is one of a handful in the country that provides team-based learning. No huge lecture halls here. Students work in teams of six in one large classroom. questions would you recommend? CHSU is also the first pharmacy school in the nation to offer an emphasis in primary care. Fresno State graduate Jose Vera says it's a major reason he chose this program. It's huge. I mean, we can meet the, the short demand that there is of primary care physicians or professionals that provide primary care. We can be like the major, we can be a major impact as an institute. Dean of Pharmacy, Dr. David Hawkins says, providing Valley students with this huge opportunity is part of a broader vision. A vision that will one day see the building of a permanent campus on 179 acres of land at Millerton Lake. Home to not only the pharmacy school, but a college of allied health and medicine. The Assemis have that vision. Uh, they're very adamant about it. They, they have, they're very positive in thinking about how they're going to get this done. Well, the pharmacy school is actively recruiting for the fall semester and hope to admit another 84 students. The college also has a very good scholarship program mm. for local students. That's great to hear. What sort of timeline are we talking about here? Well, you know, building this out at Millerton Lake, they're looking really over two decades okay. because you have, they want five colleges. <laughs> at that site yeah. and the one that I'm really excited about is Allied Health because you're talking physical therapists, mm -hmm. occupational therapists, phys uh, physician's assistant, all are hugely needed here. Right, the, the potential for those students to stay, stay and serve here this area. And make very good money. Exactly, yeah. that's In a great rural incentive. Areas especially, yeah. they really need them. Well, yeah. That young student, that's what he wants to do. Mm -hmm. That's great Fantastic. to hear. Juanita, yeah. thank you, appreciate that.